Let's see how this goes here. Oh, this is beautiful. We got some walnuts. Well, I don't know. They're kind of scooting me around. Yeah. You think we'll get out of the walnut? Yeah. A lot of walnut out there. And then the squirrels have spread them around. Is this what's called a mast year? A what year? Mast, M-A-S-T. I don't know that. that Maybe I got that Maybe term that wrong. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, you get geared down. <laughs> Those walnuts make for a pretty tricky pedaling. They're not bothering Johnny, though. Look at this tree up here. That looks like the crooked forest in Poland. Look at that. That's exactly what's going on in the crooked forest. What happened to you, tree? We got a few in there that have that curve. Up here we got a couple more. See the curves in the tr trunks? The ones in Poland all curve to the north. Quite interesting. Is this the Turkey River here? Yeah. I just read an article yesterday on the crooked forest in Poland. The crooked what? Crooked forest in Poland. Oh. And uh, it has these trees that have these marked curves in them. Yeah. They these curves go uh, anywhere from three to, I think they said, six feet out of the axis, central axis. Yeah. And then the trees continued to grow straight up. Trees were planted in 1929, 1930. They don't know why these trees all have that curve. Huh. And back there, I saw several trees that have that same curvature. So, we have our own crooked forest here in Iowa. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it had something to do with World War II or something. Well, that's one of the theories. If they were injured somehow. One of the theories with the Hitler's tanks going through there, but they said if that would have been the case, there wouldn't have been any trees left. But there's a lot of theories as to what's all this stuff here to the left. Well, this is the pond, and uh, 
which is a result of that spring I told you about. I don't know that that is the cabin. I don't think so. I think that's a structure that's too uh, house and livestock down here. Okay, I'm going to stop and look around a little yeah, bit here. There's a heck of a game trail right there, buddy. Get some. Uh, yeah. Where they come up. Okay, we have the Turkey River here. Yep. And we have a. Oh, this is a trail here. Yeah, oh, it's a significant trail. It's a game trail. And here's a pond, and well, what's the story with this structure well, over here? Well, I don't think that that's the original cabin. The cabin was over in that vicinity, however, and that's where these two old gents lived, and uh, they had continual water. There were, see this stuff sticking out of the water there? Yeah. There was a... Uh, swinging bridge that crossed there okay so that you could cross this without going all around it now this road goes clear on for some distance yet well we should ride a little yeah. further then yeah I just but, wanted to uh, stop and get a little bit of a perspective of what uh, sure. where we're sure. at here well we, we should press on down. because I think we're gonna lose our light pretty soon okay. well you got a headlight on that baby <laughs> I know on but it won't it won't show up too well on the video that's no, the problem that's I know What's that? Good thing we have these hybrid bikes. Yeah, yes. Road bike wouldn't uh, last too long, I don't think. Wouldn't cut it in this stuff. It's definitely some work. Yeah. But it's pretty level. Oh, this is a thick forest. Do we go left or right here? Uh, I should probably be right. I think up we're going to to the left, or this is going to go. Is there a possibility we may get lost in this thick woods? No. Oh, you're sure? This reminds me of the Blair Witch Project. where people will get lost and never find their way out. <laughs> Don't worry. Ooh. Oh my heavens, what's this? This is a treasure. Yeah. Ah. I don't think I'm gonna go clear to the bottom. I don't wanna come back up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well walk over and look, that. Looks like some what's pretty there? significant limestone. A what? Nice little crick coming down. Oh, crick. Probably going to climb and go over and follow that. Well, we're going to see what this is all about down in here. What crick would this be? Huh? Do you know what crick this would no. be? Probably going down into the turkey, being in this valley. Sure, a pretty little thing, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. What a, what a beautiful outcrop. Yeah. You wonder how many hundreds of thousands of years. Are those deer tracks right there? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. Lots of them. Yeah. So they walk this trail across this. So you've never been across this no, creek? No, I'm huh? not. I've not had a reason to cross it. Oh, we're going to see how far we can get here. Maybe not too far. I'll get my sneakers wet. I'll get my my little tootsies wet, so maybe we won't do that. You can't get definitely some clear water, isn't yeah, it? Isn't that pretty? I would imagine uh, a good portion of this might originate from springs. Almost looked like I could walk across here, but it uh, probably enters the turkey down here. And Amazing in itself. Yeah. Well, darn. But I didn't know we had this, this uh, rock hill here. This is really a treat. Now this valley here, this goes up a long ways up. This kind of puts Dutton's cave area to shame. Oh, God. <laughs> this is huge. This is a huge area. Well, I'll be. Probably no more than a couple, three miles from where I've lived all my life. I thought I knew about all the cubby holes around here. Well, I was just hopeful with the dry weather that we could make some trail. And uh, it's like we did. Do you have anything on a, on a distance? You know, I forgot to set oh, the... Oh, um, okay. I think, yeah. you know what I could do, I'll just reset this. There you go. And if we head oh, back... Good idea. We'll double it. Well, I would assume we're going to go back to the car. When we get up there a ways on your left, yeah. as, right after we kind of got into this area, yeah. take a, on our way out, take a look at some of those trees with those characteristic bows okay. in them. Uh, now, is there something down here we should maybe look at? Not or? really. It just would be a roadway and then it's eventually going to take you up the hill and you'd have to turn and go up. Oh, okay. I mean, you can start, we can still go down there if you'd like to. Oh, let's go down just a little, just a little, more the same. little ways just uh, to see. Uh, of course, this will follow the bottom for a ways yet. Um, I'm thinking that a bow and arrow hunter is probably back up in here somewhere. I'm just going to run down. A little ways, not too far, just to we can do that. just yeah. see what we got down there. Are you sure you know how to get out of here then? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to get end up like they did in Blair Witch. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, we're we're lost in Blair Witch country. Come get us, please. Yeah. It is. Broken wood and... It's a good thing we got good tires, right? Good tires, yeah. Got a good tire. And a low gear. <laughs> yeah. I might even go to a lower gear. Well, I kind of get the idea here. I don't think. Well, it's just, just kind of like what we've been doing. I'll go head up here to this little grassy area and then turn around. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And the beautiful colors that you see are the true colors of the leaves after the chlorophyll leaves. Oh, yeah. That's very true. Uh, I took botany in college. Okay. Toughest course I ever took. So we're not quite to that point yet where the trees are pulling their... their uh, Dr. Robert Embry. Juices in. I liked him, but it was a tough yeah. course. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a simple, you know, course. <laughs> oh. Flowers and... This is a big topic. And I thought we were just going to, you know, say these are daffodils. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a, quite a deal to hit that stump there, or whatever that is. There was a hollow stump protruding through the 
Is this called a carapace? No. What is this? What is this? Uh, what, what do you call this uh, covering, all this? Not a carapace. What? The cover? Yeah, all this. What is that called? About the brown story? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. There's a word. I, I know you people out there watching this know, know what word I want to use. Not carapace, that's not a turtle, I think. Well, you know what I mean. What was I talking about? I was talking about that hollow stump that protruded up through the carapace, the turtle carapace. How uh, that would be a bad deal to hit that with your bike. Especially if you had little teeny skinny road bike tires. But with these big fat hybrid tires, we're able to navigate all these obstacles. I just wish John Condon were here to pick up all the walnuts, clean them up and feed them into his Husking calliope. Or is that hulling calliope? Well, you know what I mean. No, no. Well, you know, you'd probably only get maybe five feet down and you'd be... Uh, what? No, I, I think with all that foliage and stuff, probably just kind of cradle you. Tires. No, it just scoots the whole wheel over That's to the... Fun yeah. Well, let's just hope we don't go down. Oh, I don't think we will. Now, there's less walnuts going on the way back. There's less walnuts? Yeah. Huh. Where'd they go? I don't know. Maybe Condon was here. Sure, picking up walnuts. Yeah. I'm trying to see those trees. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see the first two. Lost that. Now this this isn't bad going at all here. Although we've got a a group of walnuts coming up. Yeah, just when we got in here we hit quite a patch. Yeah. Now we're not far away, you see the bridge through there to the left? Yeah. You know, we can, as long as it's too troublesome, we can walk out. It's a pretty substantial bridge over there, isn't yeah. it? And that's the second bridge. There was another bridge. A little further east of that. The road used to turn and go go along there and then turn to the north. And then that was later abandoned. And then this site was used. Person should go sometime come out here with a regular dedicated camera and sure. get shots of those trees. Yeah. And then post a little article about we have our own crooked forest right here. Well, the other thing about a place like this, and we were talking about weather, but, uh, and I have been out, you know, ice fishing, hunting, and other things in the winter, and you get a nice winter day, 
and come and walk in an area like this. And it's just a fantastic. Oh yeah. You know, the changes, you know, first of all, because of winter, but it's not hard. Jim and I would come back in there and cut firewood, and then it'd be cold, you know, you'd think, pretty blustery day. we get back in there in that bottom, and you're working cutting wood, it wasn't long, and you had your coat off, you know, just work it in a sweatshirt. Get out of that wind, and down in that hollow, and Got her. Got it. Okay. Don't have it fall over on that oh, no. BMW. Well, they're about the same color. <laughs> it shouldn't show. <laughs> Behemoth of mine. Got her. Got all them big heavy plastic fenders and stuff on there. Yeah. I uh, hear oh, some, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're coming in out of the field. Hey, for water. Why, don't, why don't we ride down the road there to the end? Just to say that we rode somewhere that didn't have walnuts all over. <laughs> down. See what's down here. some of the structure left from the old bridge. Is that what all that stone is? That concrete there and then there's some abutments back on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a f fishing down here? Oh, great fishing. Okay. Uh, really good, good walleye fishing here. Now this is more like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not peddling, I'm going like hell. Yeah. I think I'm going to head down to that little green thing there and okay. turn around just to get a little... Okay, I'm going to turn around and ride the easy part. Okay. <laughs> we'll just get a little context here. Can't believe this, all this... Beautiful countryside, so close to where I live. Never even knew about it. It's clear water, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Beautiful, beautiful stream. Got it. Oh, look at here. How clear that water is. What are those tracks down there? Raccoon or? I, I don't know. I wouldn't think of it. Oh, over here in the... Yeah. In the, uh, I don't know. They look pretty far apart for raccoon. Look at there's a wild skunk. You see a wild skunk? Yeah, right here. <laughs> Such a good kitty. Such a good kitty. Are we getting you on video? 
That went on pretty easy that time. Well, this this concludes our Crooked Forest ride. Yeah. Yeah. Crooked. <laughs> Kitty, look at the camera. Crooked. Oh, oh such a good look cat. At that. Such a good cat. Oh my. Yes. Oh. He likes Johnny. Okay, we're gonna sign off here.